Aquariuses, welcome to your love reading for October 2024. If it resonates, consider a personal pre record or live reading. Just click on the link tree below in my YouTube channel or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, let's get your reading. Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides of the Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Aquariuses for love for October 2024? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach their higher ground? become closer to the universe and closer to divine okay let's get started can you please show me the energies that aquarius passed out of prior to october 2024 love energies that aquarius passed out of we have the three of wands in the upright Alrighty, make sure you click on your Vimeo link below. I will be focusing on the Hunter's Moon, which is October 16th to October 17th. In that, I will show you what you need to release, what do you need to hunt or go after, and how will you prepare for it moving forward. And let's see what's going on. Energies for October 2024. We have the Two of Swords in the reverse. Alrighty. And then in my playlist are your 2025 Sun Moon readings. Put your requests in the comments. I will put you in queue. 2024s are still in there. See if they rang true for you or somebody else. Let me end on the Six of Swords in the upright as you move out of October into November. And then finally, if you could look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, or for a friend in support of my efforts, always greatly appreciated. I'm trying to remind myself to go a little bit slower uh, because people have been telling me I go too fast, even though there's some really good readers out there who go very fast, like Cantor's Moon and Tyler Sarrow. But let's see how this goes. It's hard for me to read slowly. So, um, Anyways, because I'm a very fast-paced person, but I'm going to try for you guys. All right, so we start off with the Three of Wands in the upright, the energies that are prior to October. The whole entire world has opened up to you, I feel, or did open up to you previously when it comes to love. Lots of things before you. Actually, a little bit overwhelming as you kind of observe or survey the landscape ahead of you. And I feel as though you're not really... You weren't really doing anything. You're just, like I said, observing everything, seeing what you have available to you, trying to consider what is going to be your best course of action, who is going to be your best course of action. And actually, one of the things that I do think that you are considering is somebody who you would not typically date. So somebody who maybe you have a stereotype of some sort and you decide to go for the odd bird or, or somebody that uh, you wouldn't normally consider or a friend that you wouldn't consider something in that vein I feel that you're doing because I feel as though prior to this the conventional the traditional the stereotypical or who you usually tend to go after wasn't necessarily working for you so I just kind of see you taking everything in and everybody that's available to you I do think that this reading is going to apply to singles mostly now, in October, with the two of swords in the reverse, I, I'm feeling as though you kind of you kind of painted yourself into a corner because I feel as though you are entirely confused about how you're going to decide. And I feel it also as though there's some pressure on you to decide. I feel as though you kind of said to yourself, well, I did this because I told myself that I was going to, um, this was what the plan was going to be. And now that it's prevented itself, I feel as though it's just too much and you're really stuck and you're really not sure what to do. Um, so see you kind of being like that during October, not knowing how to proceed, knowing that you need to decide, but for some reason not wanting to. And it could be that everything that you have considered in that vein of thought is actually um, not uh, anybody that you would consider having a positive experience with, I feel. So the Six of Swords in the upright to me is sort of moving on from that ideology. Uh, I see you kind of saying to yourself, I need to do things differently, but in regards to love, in regards to dating, in regards to relationships, but that isn't the way to do it. So I do see you kind of um, deciding to go for something else or follow something else um, in pursuit of a better mousetrap, so to speak, um, in pursuit of a better plan is what I'm seeing for October 2024. So let's see what the clarifiers have to say. Why is the Three of Wands here in the upright for Aquariuses and love energies prior to October 2024? Okay. 
one of the things that's very important to you in your pursuit is your independence. So I see you being, you were being in a position where um, you have everything you want. So if anyone's going to be introduced into your life, you wanted somebody that was going to add to your life, not take away from your life, because honestly, you do fine on your own. So it's not as though there's desperation. Um, you're looking for somebody that has a very uh, specific quality that, that you know, um, like I said, is going to enhance your life, is going to make you shine bright, brighter. Otherwise, you're fine without it. One of the people that you're actually taking in consideration is a person from your past. And we have the Six of Cups in the upright. Um, somebody who you have very fond memories of, somebody who you had a past connection with. I feel it was, um, you're very, am it was very amicable with amicable with this person so it wouldn't be too crazy for the two of you to reconnect I don't feel there's any bad blood or anything of that sort and if it's not that then I feel as though one of the things you're considering is somebody who's very creative uh, somebody who uh, feels very familiar to you is another thing the six of cups and the upright can actually be so that may have been what you were channeling in on why is the three of wands in reverse? The tower card in reverse. Immediately what I got from that was you've been through a lot previously picking um, the same types of people. And I feel like you went through a lot as a result. It didn't work out. And you've actually, it, it, it shaken up your way or it, it had shaken up your way of looking at things. It really changed, like I said, your ideology in regards to, hey, why don't I try something different? Why don't I do something different? Um, I feel like your perspective has vastly changed. Your core beliefs have vastly changed. So I feel going into October, you're just going to have a new, a new set of values and and things in that regard or expectations moving into uh, love expectations moving into October 2024. Why is the two of uh, swords here in the reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy? Yeah, so with the sun card in reverse, what I'm seeing is everything was fine and good until you sort of hit this roadblock. Um, it's almost as though you're saying things would have, you know, worked out great um, if, you know, I didn't, I didn't have to choose. And if the options before me were a little bit positive, like I said. So the sun card in reverse is where everything's good. I mean, there's nothing terrible going on in your love life, but it's just, it's like you're missing a piece. You're having a difficult time being optimistic about moving forward with love. Um, and, and again, I feel like it was just because of the plan you set out or the way you went about doing any things. Yeah, the Eight of Wands in reverse is saying in October, there's really not a lot of connections being made. Not anybody that you would really like to talk to. One of the things about you all is that you really are stimulated by engaging conversation, open communication, and I feel as though all the options before you don't have that. So that's why you may kind of be viewing things um, rather negatively. If people don't, aren't bringing conversation to the table, there's really no point as, as much as, I mean, as far as you're concerned. And the Hermit card in the reverse, which is the card of Virgo, gives me this sense where you're almost like, okay, I'm better off alone. I'm going to take all my toys and leave. Um, I feel as though you are, I don't want to say isolating yourself, but I feel as though you're withdrawing from the dating game or the dating pool or, um, you know, you you were, you, you were th toying with um not being signal, single. I feel as though there is a part of you that wishes you had a companion. Um, I, I mean, I kind of feel with you guys, it's not always about love, it's about companionship because some of you have um, problems with intimate connections or it can be a challenge for you to forge those. But sometimes it's nice to have somebody by your side in life. So, um, but the options before you are saying, yeah, no, thank you. I'll just kind of, I'll kind of, like I said, take my toys and go home. Why is the, or go someplace else here? Some of you actually with the Six of Swords in the upright might be uh, deciding on a new landscape. So you may be moving someplace else and saying, yeah, there isn't anything here in this podunk town for me. So I think I'm going to move to someplace that's by the water where um, there's a lot more opportunities for me, where people are happier, more joyful, things of that nature. So you could be moving uh, across or near water in order to, you know, broaden the horizon in regards to more prospects. Why is the Six of Swords here in the upright? Okay, the World card in the upright indicates to me that going towards something better, whether it be a, a better mousetrap, a better plan, or just a better place seems to be the thing for you. This is what makes you complete. This is what makes you feel whole. It makes you feel like you're making the right decision here. I feel as though 
moving away from your previous plan has you really ready for the challenges to come and really kind of ready to take them on. So I feel like you're closing out this chapter of how you were doing things and looking forward to a different way. Why is the Six of Swords here in the Upright for Aquarius? Yeah, we have the Nine of Cups in the Upright. Again, very happy, very content in life, um, very joyful in regards to life, but you're missing the Tenth Cup. So you really are looking for, um, you know, a companion that's going to be fulfilling, that's going to be harmonious. Um, you know, somebody who's going to, it's almost going to be like your wish is coming true. Um, but I mean, all over you making this decision, you're very happy with it. Additional messages, please, for the Six of Swords in the upright. And we have the Four of Cups in the reverse, which for me, that card is often, um, you know, I can sit around and I can sulk all I want to, but if I want change to happen, I'm going to have to get up off of my butt, so to speak, and make things happen. So you're realizing that there are other opportunities out there that could that could be going on. And that, um, you know, the way you're going about it is causing you to miss these offers. So, I mean, I feel like in this reading, you all are actually seeking out love, just kind of changing the plan in order to do so. So that's what I have for you all. If it does resonate, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below if you're viewing this in YouTube or text me at 646-9025715. Otherwise, make sure you click on your Vimeo link below where I will be doing the Hunter's Moon, which is October 16th to October 17th. In that spread, I'll have what you need to release, what you need to hunt or um, kind of... Uh, uh, I forget the other phrase, and how you will prepare, better prepare um, from it as you move forward. In my playlist, your 2025 Sun Moon readings, put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue. 2024s are still in there. See if they rang true for you or somebody else. And then finally, if you could look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, refer a friend in support of my efforts. That's always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Aquarius says, I will see you in your Vimeo reading next. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye. Aquarius says, I realized after the reading that was done, I did not tell you the little thing about uh, the Hunter's Moon that you need to know. So it's just a short little thing before you segue into the video reading and I'm going to splice into this video. So Aquarius says, during the Hunter's Moon, you will feel the power to tackle almost anything during this time. You may find yourself seeking out religious and spiritual pursuits or having a deep craving to travel even more than you have before. However, in regards to travel, you may need to have, you may ha need to have to deal with current legal issues and mandates to do so. But no worries, you will have the fortitude to handle it. So just check out the video reading. That's, that's what prefaces it. And I hope you enjoy it. Adios.